Hi, my name is Barbara Williams. I live just outside the San Francisco Bay Area, and I'm the owner of the Rogan family of miniature schnauzers and puppygenius.com. And I'm here today to teach you how to potty train your puppy, no matter what age they are, in less than seven days to go to the bathroom on command in less than seven minutes. So you have to be persistent and you have to be consistent but only for a few days and then you'll have it under control. So I use some certain tools to accomplish this. And one is I want you to have a six foot leash for those of you that don't have the opportunity to get an exercise plan. So I prefer that you get an exercise plan to put in a designated area in your backyard. But if you don't have a backyard, then we have to do second best, which is a six foot leather leash that's three eighths of an inch wide. You want a martingale collar, at, which is extra small for miniature schnauzers. And it's less than 10 inches. So, I mean, less than 12 inches, it's 10 to 12 inches. And you want uh, treats that your dog will literally jump through a hoop of fire to get that treat. What I currently use with uh, my dogs are products from a company called Puppy Genius. I'm not Puppy Genius, I'm sorry. Puppygoodies.com, that's puppygoodies.com. And when you get that, we'll say Paw Tree, but I don't want you to go to Paw Tree directly because I have my own account and I'm kind of like, I want you to use it. So go to puppygoodies.com. Now, what I would like to see you order is real chicken and sweet potato. Real chicken and sweet potato is item number 2002. Well, the thing that's interesting about this real chicken and sweet potato is that the kibble is smaller than the half the size of a woman's pinky fingernail. Yeah, that's what I said. The kibble is half the size of a woman's pinky finger, fingernail. So what I have discovered with my miniature schnauzers is they'll jump through hoops of fire to get this teeny, teeny, teeny kibble. They love it. Not, and I've tried other uh, dog foods. It's actually a dog food. I've tried other dog foods with um, puppy goodies at puppygoodies.com and not got the same results. So they do have excellent treats if you want to try that as well, but you don't need to get a 10 pound bag of dog food. And if you don't want to feed it to your dogs, which I think you should, you can go ahead and use it for doggy treats. The other thing I recommend to people who buy my puppies is that they use the new vet vitamins. Well, the thing that's really cool about the new vet vitamins is you could give your dog a, a nutritional supplement, but at the same time, it, it doubles as a training treat. So new vet vitamins, ID number 64111, at 64111. And so you can call the phone number 800 474 7044. That's 800 474 0444. So don't worry about the information I'm giving out right now. I will put it at the end of the YouTube video. So not to worry, not to worry. I don't want to make this any longer than it has to be. I want to be short and concise. So step number two, you've got to make sure the dog loves the treat. Whatever you choose to use, if you don't use what I recommend, you may have to go through buying a lot of treats before you find the one that makes them lick their lips, get all jumpity and just excited to get it. Now, whatever treat you use, it needs to be very tiny, like about of a quarter of an inch by a quarter of an inch. This isn't dinner time. This is a reward. Whatever you feed a dog in treats, you need to take away from a dog in dog food. So now you've got your tools and we're gonna begin potty training. I'm gonna direct this at a puppy, but it would be the same as an adult dog, a rescue dog, any dog you got anywhere. So now you have your dog, you've got your tools, you've got, you've got your tools, which is great. And you are 
like pretty much ready to go. You've got your six foot leash. You've got your martingale collar. You've got your new vet vitamins. Um, you've got the real chicken and sweet potato, number 2002. And you have made sure they love the treat, that they absolutely, absolutely love the treat. Now, from here, what we're going to do is we're going to start from like nighttime. You bring your home puppy home for the first time in the evening. You uh, um, get them accustomed to their crate. And in the morning is when we're going to begin the potty training. So in the morning, uh, the puppy is in the crate. What you don't want to do is open the door and let them walk out. So what you do is you open the door, you pick them up. If you're going to teach them to ring a bell to go outside, you have the bell hanging from that door. You touch the puppy's uh, paw to the bell. If you want to give it a, a, an identifier, you can say ring. You can hit the puppy's paw to it three times if you want and say ring, ring, ring. But the point of it is you can teach them to ring the bell that they want to go outside. So you take them outside. They have their designated area. Whether you have a dog leash or whether you have the exercise pen, they have a designated area. They're not supposed to just go anywhere. You want them to go in a specified area. So as I said, the exercise pen is the number one um, item I recommend. You would put your puppy in there. You would pretty much ignore your puppy at this point other than to get them to do their business, number one and number two. So you want to give a one word identifier uh, of no more than two syllables. And uh, so you're going to go um, poo poo, and I'm sorry, pee pee, which is what they do first and easiest. So you're going to go pee pee, pee pee, pee pee. Now you're going to make sure that when you're out there doing all this, that you haven't forgot to put your training treat bag that you can get at Amazon around your waist. So you have your bag ready and you're telling the dog to pee, 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 pee. You're not going to take your eyes off the dog. When it pee pees, you're going to do a three-step positive reward for them, which is what I call the high voice, good girl, good girl, good girl, the pat, 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 and here's your treat. You're going to do all these three things simultaneously. And because it's really a big thing we're asking of a dog, our children can't even do this. And so we're going to reward them three times. So you're going to give them the treat good and do the three steps of so the treat. Good girl, good girl, pat, pat, pat. Pause for a second. Then another treat. Go girl, good girl, pat, pat, pat. Get all excited. The more excited you get, the more the puppy feels rewarded. So do the three times. So now you put them back down in the exercise pen and you're going to go poo, 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 poo. Now, the, the first day, good gravy, it could take up to an hour or more. I hope it won't for you, but it could. So what you don't want, what you want to do again is you ignore them. You don't talk to them. You keep your eyes on them, but you just give them the poo-poo command, the poo-poo command. When the dog finally goes poo-poo, you stop, pick them up, do the three steps again. So pat, 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 good girl, good girl, doggy treat all simultaneously. So then you pause, pat, 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 the girl, the girl, and the treat simultaneously. Do it again for a third time, pat, 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 the girl, the girl, and the treat all simultaneously. Now you can really fluff them up and get them excited and let them play outside for a while, which is a secondary reward for doing their business because what they'll eventually learn is they're gonna be able to run around the yard much quicker if they just go ahead and do their business. Then the second thing you're gonna do after maybe about you know 10 minutes of play, 15 minutes of play, you're gonna bring them in the house and you're gonna feed them breakfast, okay? Now, you're going to hand feed them, especially for the first six months, if not for the rest of their life, you're gonna hand feed them. So if you think about it in terms of a correlation with children, who would take a one-year-old child, put them in a, in a, a high chair, give them a bowl of food and walk away and come back an hour later and see if they were finished. I hope no human would do that. It's disgusting. Who wouldn't sit with their kids at dinner time and just sh shove the food under them and leave? 
Most people won't do that to children. Why would you do it to a puppy? So just like you would feed a, a six month old, a year old child with a spoon and stay there and feed them with the spoon, you're gonna hand feed your puppy for a minimum of six months. Then after that's done, you can continue if you want, or you can go back and forth if you want, but you definitely wanna hand feed them. It's gonna create a stronger bonding, a more willingness to please you, uh, elevate you in the respect from the puppy and see you as the alpha dog, which is what you want. So um, as soon as they've done eating, you take them back out and do the same thing again. And they're going to want to go to the bathroom. So even if you have to wait, you just wait. Because if you don't wait, you're going to be having a bad situation and kind of undo the, all the good work. So I'm just asking you, seven days, please follow these instructions carefully. So then you're going to go, um, same thing, give them the three-step uh, reward three times for pee pee, give them the three step reward three times for poo poo. It's optional as to whether or not you want to let them play. I would suggest at least two, three minutes. And then you're going to bring them back in the house, do whatever you want to do. Um, you know, that's your choice at that point. But remember, these are the cues. Puppy has to go to the bathroom right after they sleep at night. Puppy has to go to the bathroom right after they eat. Puppy has to go to the bathroom right after they run around and play. Puppy has to go to the bathroom again after they eat a second time. So you just got to stay on top of that. And also in the beginning, you want to be taking them out every two hours. Because what you don't want to have is negative behavior that you're trying to undo. So just for seven days, every hour and a half to two hours, take them out. Teach them to do this by command. PP pee -pee is one command. Poo poo is the other command. And um, in seven days, they should know how to go on command in a designated area in less than seven days. Now, I've actually had people report back to me that they got their dog trained to do this in less than 12 hours. And, and it, it doesn't matter the age, whether it's a puppy and whether it's a, a four month old puppy. Um, it's really up to the person. So if you can't succeed in this, you, you got to look in the mirror, ask yourself, what is it I'm not doing right? Because especially if it's a miniature schnauzer, every miniature schnauzer will do that as long as their owner is doing it the correct way consistently until this is reinforced at a level that's very deep that they won't forget. Don't forget every time you take them out, ring the bell. So that's it, Barbara Williams from just outside the San Francisco Bay Area. And I want you to hit that subscribe button. I want you to hit that thumbs up and I want you to come back and do it again. <laughs> Leave a comment next time after you successfully potty train your puppy. Bye for now, Barbara Williams from just outside the San Francisco Bay Area.